power meter for no reason at all. What's up, guys? Tim, Some Damn Fools. It's update time. I'm here to serve an eviction notice. I got this from the judge today. Now, look at that pile of shit. Y'all remember the last video? It was right there at the top of that countertop. Look at that, man. I'm 6'3. I can't even reach that high. All right, I'm going to get this business out of the way. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. In the great state of North Carolina, this is an immediate eviction notice to all termites. Y'all get the hell on out of here. You ain't paid rent. Look at this. You ain't done nothing but tore shit up. Nothing. Nothing. No good at all. You went up into my damn roof joist. All up on my beams. Look at what you did. Some floor joints. Wall studs. I mean, you have just wrecked some shit. So you guys got to go. I had to serve that eviction. Bruh, did you even remodel? Good God. Hey, honey, I think I'm going to fix the bathroom floor. Well, good for you, superstar. Look at this shit. Oh, so you said you do it for a living. Shouldn't be any problem. It's not. It's not a problem. It's just a lot. No, it ain't that bad, guys. Where this looks like a pain in the ass, it's really not too bad. Yes, we're going to replace some studs. Yes, we're going to replace some headers. There's plenty of joists are coming out. Those to the outer band looks good. See, there's a lot of good things, you know, that there's a... No, there's not. There's not a lot. There's one or two. This damn sure ain't one of them. Good night. Conjunction, junction, what your function? That's for electrician to tell me. Bob, my man, boss man, he can tell me all about that. Because uh, I know I blah electrical or heating and air. You got to pick your battles, guys. Don't know everything. Because if you say you know everything, go beat yourself in the head with a hammer. Nobody knows everything. But you can specialize in just a few things, you know. That's one of the things I pride myself on. If I know it, I'll tell you. If I don't, I'll tell you. I'll damn sure tell you that. Because you just save headache, heartache, and money by being honest. So, guys, uh, this is the old existing uh, where that bathroom nightmare used to be. This is the kitchen. This wall is coming out. This wall is going to stay. I think. Yeah. Because we're going to split this. That window's coming out. Different window. Um, from here to there, bathroom. From here to there, bathroom. No, wait. Yeah, we're going to leave that. We're going to have the alcove. We're going to leave some of this. Take this out. Take this out. Leave this wall. It's going to be the doorway to the bathroom. And then the ba I don't know. We're going to do something with it. That wall is coming out. So this wall is coming out. All this is going to be kitchen and living room. You know, I ain't having no dining room. I do like, if I'm a, you want to dine at my house, formal, you sit your ass on the back porch. Not now because it's nasty, but when I redo the porch. But, yeah, hey, look, got something new besides a tool, a winder. It's because it's going to go fast, guys. Um, when you get to this point, let's rip it out, put it back in new. Get everything leveled out. You know, we got to get this whole ass into the house sags. So get that straightened out. I'd say within two weeks, I'll be able to ready, ready to, I don't know, two weeks. Shit, two weeks? We moving in here. It won't even be that long. And I know you say, bullshit, watch. And I ain't going to cover the floor up and, you know, you ain't getting away with shit. I don't do shit like that. I ain't covering up this shit. All this shit, see that? I ain't got insurance, boy. You better stop. No, I got it on the house, but I don't know if it covers stupid shit. So, yeah, I'm going to tear all these out. We're getting ready to run new joists in here. Um, let's see what's going on under this floor, but kind of got to have a working walkway. Uh, we had to get all the truck, all this shit out of here. So, big shout out to Angie. Been a big help. Helped me kick ass the past two days. But, yeah, guys, um, that's the update. There's some insulation thank god it wasn't that blown shit because tearing these ceilings out stunk yup i can see the tarp see holes all in the damn holes all in that metal oh yeah 
And they ain't like they big ass holes neither. It's like somebody just went and punched holes in the shit. Nail holes. And they missed like hell. So, yeah, guys, that's the update. Um, and uh, it's it's ready to get rolling now. Where this may look like an absolute nightmare to me, this is progress. Out with the old, in with the new. You got to make it better than it was when you got here. So, I'm going to come from this point about two, three foot in. Come out maybe four. Do like a four by 12. Cut that out. See what's going on. So that when everything goes back in everything's you know i want no sagging in the floor hell the whole back porch slopes off the house so definitely got some stuff going on the back wall um we're gonna get into it tomorrow uh, after work boss coming out here with me and we're gonna get some materials and go to it so you guys stay tuned i don't want to make this video too long but uh yeah check out this old carpentry man did this it joints the load bearing walls those 45s i guess it's the old stephanie back in the day but i really like the way they did that it's cool to see i mean it's you know it's obsolete technology now they damn sure don't do it but still neat so i thought i'd give you guys a look into my living nightmare and uh let me know what you think in the comments and there's a skint wire shaped just keeps getting better. All right, guys, stay tuned.